assalamu alaikum students i hope that you are doing well and enjoying your e lessons as well as zoom classes and doing your assignments with responsibility now let's move towards our next assignment let's begin with with future perfect tense and in future perfect tense in active voice we have the helping verbs will or shall plus have plus verb third form when we are going to change it in passive voice so it will become when or shall plus have plus been plus verb third form now let's move on to the sentence formula or sentence construction of the sentences we are going to start with positive sentences in positive sentences we have the sentence construction subject plus will or shall plus have plus verb third form plus object in active voice and when by plus object this is in passive voice now let's have example and the sentence is i shall have eaten an orange in active voice and when we are going to change it into passive an orange will have been eaten by me this will be in passive voice now let's move on to negative sentences let's begin with negative sentences and the sentence construction for active voice is subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus verb third form plus object this is in active voice and when we are going to change it into passive subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus been plus verb third form plus by plus object this is in passive voice now let's have an example and the sentence is she will not have posted the letter this is in active voice and when we are going to change it into passive the letter will not have been posted by her this is in passive voice now let's move on to interrogative sentences 
Now let's begin with interrogative sentences and the sentence construction is will or shall plus subject plus have plus verb third form plus object question mark. This is inactive and when we are going to change it into passive will or shall plus subject plus have plus been plus verb third form plus by plus object question mark this is in passive voice now let's have an example and the sentence is will he have taken tea question mark this is inactive and when we are going to change it into passive will t have been taken by him question mark and this is in passive voice now if we have question word and the question word is who then the sentence construction will become who plus will or shall plus subject plus have plus word third form plus object question mark this is in active voice and when we are going to change it into passive then it will become who plus will or shall plus subject plus have plus been plus verb third form plus by plus object question mark this is in passive now let's have an example who will have written a story question mark this is in active and when we are going to change it into passive it will become by whom will a story have been written question mark this is in passive voice so this is all with active and passive voice in present past and future perfect tenses and i hope you have understood so far and if you have any confusion we will discuss it in the zoom class so best of luck for your work i'll meet you in the next video stay blessed till then allah hafiz